Mastering Security Governance Our security governance framework is likely broken and totally out of sync with industry standards. Why do our organization's current security governance framework and its alignment with industry standards and best practices require a thorough examination to understand its present state? To ensure operational excellence in security governance, it is essential to conduct a thorough examination of our organization's current security governance framework and its alignment with industry standards and best practices. This examination is crucial to understand the present state of our security governance framework and identify areas that require improvement. Firstly, a comprehensive review of our organization's security policies, procedures, and guidelines should be conducted to assess their relevance, effectiveness, and compliance with industry standards and best practices. This review should involve a thorough analysis of our security governance framework's ability to manage risks, prevent cyber threats, and ensure business continuity. The examination should focus on the following key aspects. 1. Risk Management Evaluate our organization's risk management processes to identify, assess, and mitigate risks. Assess whether our risk management framework is aligned with industry standards such as ISO 27001 and NIST 800-30. 2. Compliance. Review our organization's compliance with relevant laws, regulations, and industry standards such as GDPR, HIPAA, PCI DSS, and ISO 27001. Ensure that our security governance framework is designed to meet these requirements. 3. Security controls. Assess the effectiveness of our security controls, including firewalls, intrusion detection systems, incident response plans, and access controls. Evaluate whether these controls are aligned with industry best practices and standards, such as NIST 800-53 and CIS controls. 4. Governance structure. Examine our organization's governance structure to ensure that it is aligned with industry best practices. Assess whether our governance structure includes a clear definition of roles and responsibilities, decision-making processes, and oversight mechanisms. Secondly, a gap analysis should be conducted to identify areas where our organization's security governance framework falls short of industry standards and best practices. This analysis should evaluate the following. 1. People. Assess whether our organization has the necessary skills, expertise, and resources to manage and maintain our security governance framework. 2. Process. Evaluate our organization's security-related processes, including incident response, vulnerability management, and threat intelligence. Identify areas where these processes can be improved. 3. Technology. Assess our organization's security-related technologies, including security information and event management, SIEM, systems, security orchestration, automation, and response, SOAR, solutions, and cloud security solutions. Identify areas where these technologies can be improved or upgraded. Based on the findings of the examination and gap analysis, a roadmap should be developed to address the identified gaps and weaknesses in our organization's security governance framework. This roadmap should prioritize the implementation of new security controls, policies, and procedures to ensure alignment with industry standards and best practices. Additionally, a continuous monitoring and improvement program should be established to ensure that our organization's security governance framework remains effective and aligned with industry standards and best practices. This program should include regular security assessments, penetration testing, and vulnerability management to identify and address potential security risks. Furthermore, our organization should establish a security governance framework that is flexible and adaptable to emerging threats and changing business requirements. This framework should be designed to facilitate collaboration and information sharing between different business units, departments, and stakeholders. In conclusion, a thorough examination of our organization's security governance framework and its alignment with industry standards and best practices is essential to ensure operational excellence in security governance. By conducting a comprehensive review, gap analysis, and roadmap development, 
Our organization can identify areas for improvement, address gaps and weaknesses, and establish a continuous monitoring and improvement program to ensure the effectiveness of our security governance framework. This will enable our organization to manage risks, prevent cyber threats, and ensure business continuity, ultimately contributing to operational excellence in security governance. As I delved into the world of security governance, I couldn't help but think of a conversation I had with a fellow executive at a conference. He confided in me about the frustration he felt with his organization's security governance framework. Despite having a robust framework in place, his team was struggling to keep up with the ever-changing threat landscape. He questioned whether their framework was truly effective in protecting their organization's assets. His concerns resonated deeply with me, as I had witnessed similar struggles in my own experience. I recalled a time when I worked with a company that had invested heavily in security technologies, only to realize that their implementation was haphazard and lacked a clear strategy. It was like building a fortress with no blueprint, hoping that it would magically protect them from attackers. As we began to examine the current state of his organization's security governance framework, it became clear that they were not alone in their struggles. Many organizations were grappling with the same issues, trying to navigate the complexities of security governance while staying abreast of industry standards and best practices. To better understand the root of the problem, I suggested that we take a step back and assess the organization's risk tolerance. What were their priorities? What were they trying to protect? By understanding their risk tolerance, we could identify potential vulnerabilities and develop a more effective security strategy. One practical approach was to conduct a thorough risk assessment involving stakeholders from across the organization. This helped to identify key areas of concern, such as data breaches, system downtime, and reputational damage. We then used this information to develop a comprehensive risk register, which served as a roadmap for our security governance framework. Next, we turned our attention to the organization's policies and procedures. Were they aligned with industry standards and best practices? Were they being consistently enforced across the organization? By reviewing and revising their policies and procedures, we were able to establish a clear understanding of roles and responsibilities, ensuring that everyone was on the same page. Another critical aspect was training and awareness. It was essential to educate employees on the importance of security and their role in protecting the organization's assets. We developed targeted training programs, tailored to specific roles and responsibilities, to ensure that everyone had the necessary skills and knowledge to identify and respond to security threats. As we worked through this process, I couldn't help but think about the importance of trust and relationships. Building a culture of trust and collaboration was essential to the success of the security governance framework. By fostering open communication and transparency, we were able to create an environment where employees felt empowered to raise concerns and report incidents without fear of reprisal. Throughout this journey, I was struck by the complexity of security governance. It's not just about implementing technologies or policies, it's about understanding the intricacies of human behavior and the nuances of organizational culture. It requires a deep appreciation for the delicate balance between risk and opportunity and a willingness to adapt to an ever-changing landscape. As we looked back on our journey, I realized that operational excellence in security governance is not a destination, it's a continuous process. It requires ongoing attention, effort, and commitment. By taking a holistic approach, one that considers risk tolerance, policies, procedures, training, and culture, organizations can develop a robust security governance framework that truly protects their assets. In the end, my friend's organization emerged with a renewed sense of confidence in their security governance framework. They had developed a framework that was tailored to their unique needs, one that balanced risk and opportunity and fostered a culture of trust and collaboration. As I reflect on this experience, I'm reminded that security governance is not just about technology or process, it's about people, relationships, and the pursuit of excellence.